Hello everyone, this is Iris Trivia. Today we're continuing our Total War Pharaohs pre-release coverage as we'll be switching to the K9 factions and we'll be previewing the K9 factions with Bay the Pretender. So Ursu is going to be available for early access playthrough weekend, I think starting on September 29th. So we'll be going with Bay, the one that's not playable. And Bay is someone who eventually ascended into the Egyptian courts and was very good at politics, and it's going to be reflected in his playstyle. His starting situation's rated as hard, and let's take a look at his faction. I am but a humble servant. We are going to start smack middle in Kenai lands, right between Anatolia and Egypt, and we can take a look at the faction summary real quick. So we have some unique buildings, major sources, of resources, major source of happiness, and requires high influence to activate some of these buildings. Uh, we'll take a look at them in the menu outside as well. We'll just quickly brief over these. Our unique buildings reward you for having high influence in their respective province. You also have more effective smugglers buildings. There's the trading fairground, which improves resource gain, doubly so if you have high influence. This is going to be interesting because I believe our influence obviously will be the Canaanite influence and whether we want to expand up or uh, go north or south, we'll be running into areas where we are dealing with large amount of foreign influence. So carving out a spot to increase influence seems to be important if we want to take advantage of our unique buildings. The Seeing Square increased happiness in multiple provinces, so I'm guessing this is going to be the province itself plus adjacent province for the bonus. Smuggler's Bay produces food and wood and it's more powerful during low civilization states. So if we're in collapse or crisis, we get more food and wood from these Smuggler Bay, which is similar to other factions, but more so for us. As you can see, we have more effective Smuggler's buildings. And then the Scribe headquarters are expensive, but grand legitimacy, influence and bonus to diplomatic relationship. This is a reflection of Bay the character historically. And then for faction units, we have units who are good at charging, best at ambushing, weak at holding lines. So it looks like we have units that are good at ambushing with ability like Vanguard Deployment, Stock, and Sneak. We have a variety of melee infantry and short range missile units. So it seems like we're going to have some Javelin users and that is uh, Axe unit as well. Uh, we'll take a look at the full roster on the right side of the screen after we go through the faction summaries. Our unique command, we can immediately apply a new royal decree once a year. That is very strong. It varies from three to six turns, I believe, for most of the royal decrees. So it is definitely a turn saving mechanic for sure. If you want to wait till Shimsu Hor, your influence will increase in all provinces you own. So this goes back to improving the influence so we get more resource. And this definitely goes hand in hand. We can pick either or. Uh, instant Royal Decree seems very strong actually, especially as we move to the later decrees, since those will be the longer turn ones. For our court action, we get to review all court plots for free, so we'll be in the know about all the plots. You have a unique intrigue, which is called Assume, with which you can appropriate a plot from another faction. You become the plotter, and the target remains the same. So we can take over a plot, assume the position of the plot, right. Wait for other factions to build up their plots, and then steal them at the right time. Pretty interesting playstyle, sneaky character. Uh, we start out with certain outpost buildings, two of them, a shrine of Thoth and a fort, both in Sadun. Uh, the shrine will reduce construction costs and increase happiness. Prayer will reduce the cost of siege equipment. We already seen previously in our Ramsey showcase that all siege battles require Siege equipment to be built, and the cost of labor is limited per turn. Uh, at least for the first battle, was 11 labor per turn. So reducing the cost means we'll get more siege engines on the field a lot faster. Uh, the fort is going to provide us with some garrison unit uh, to help out with defense of our settlement. Uh, looking at our local deity, we'll start out with Thoth, and it is Egyptian god. 
Uh, it deals with construction cost of buildings and improving happiness. Also reduce the cost of siege equipment. That's the prayer. We really looked at it for the outpost. Native units. We start in Fengku. Native unit with Yamhad. Some cell swords, Syrian archers. Okay, interesting units. Our unique title is going to be focused on influence on the campaign map, bonus to range units in battle, and grand ability such as ambushing and vanguard deployment. So looks like we're going to have a bit of range units, a bit of sneaky units, and a lots of vanguard deployment. We start out with a medium armor, a sword, and a small shield. So we'll have a melee bodyguard unit to start. We'll be starting in Fengku, and we have no sacred land. There is also no Canaanite positions to go for. We either have to go for the Egyptian positions or the Hittite positions, and we have to get our own sacred land for either. So there's a lot of freedom to play whichever way you want, but basically we don't uh, have a Canaanite position to go for. It's one of these in-between factions. And looking at native units, basic Canaanite units across the board. Anyone who's in this area can get them. Light Syrian archers, there's armor Syrian archers, armor Canaanite chariots, and our unique unit, still Canaanite for the most part. Looks like a pretty weak roster, to be honest. Some veteran units, stalkers. It's all about sneaking around, it seems. Regional fair. We will actually lose local influence, interesting. But why are we having two separate all resource boosts that's listed separately here? We'll take a look at that in game. Why can't that just be 35%? So Smuggler's Bay usually is just restricted to food. And now we have a mix of food and wood production. It's not very good during Prosperity, but as we go into Collapse, it's very good. And once we're in Crisis, it's still very decent. We will lose a bit of Happiness and Influence. Seeing Competition, this is the one that will boost not only our local bonus, but also adjacent provinces as well. Yeah, once again, we have overlapping targets this province at two separate one adds up to plus seven. Have to hop into game, see if this is just like a placeholder error, since this is a development process, um, or perhaps this has something else going on that we're not seeing. Chief Scribes, this is an expensive building. We get influence per non-aggression pact for each in each adjacent province. We get diplomatic relations production for adjacent provinces. There's a lot of stacking effect that we can build up with adjacency, it seems. And we'll take a look at everything once we hop into game. So snake your way to the top. I believe the cinematic's the same for every faction, so we're just gonna skip that. I could be wrong, but... Um not gonna watch the whole thing again. The Canaanites to the north are little more than barbarians, desperately clinging to the goodwill of my empire and the trade that Egypt brings to their shores. My liaison bay works to pacify his feral countrymen. Though Canaanite by birth, he's practically Egyptian in his learning and civility. His letters read like poetry sharing wisdom with eloquence and making him proficient in diplomacy with his neighbors. But I'm no fool. His charming politesse is but the grass that hides a venomous snake, poised and ready to strike. Is Bay a gift from the gods? Or is he the hidden dagger waiting to be plumbed into Egypt's path? Perhaps the latter. Uh, we've seen all this already. And we're going to see an action as we unlock these court actions. It's going to take us the first Shimsu Horror. So the first six turns, we're not going to have any of our unique mechanics. 
We'll see how Canaanites deal with Ancient Legacies as well as Power of the Crown. I believe we can just go for either one. It would not really affect us, even though we're sort of free to pick either without too many restrictions. Still going to start out with Happiness. Although in this case, there are a few differences. So the Canaanite royal decrees are not exactly the same as the Egyptian one, as this one here is different from the Egyptian one. It's Canaanite... Uh, yeah, I think he's going to have a different bonuses. The structure of the tree is the same, but it seems like Canaan one, as well as the Egyptian one and the Hittite one is going to have small differences. Like these resource boosting ones are still the same. That's still construction time. But I know for a fact this feels different. And the name, obviously, also gives it away. A lot of the other ones feel the same, though. Very, very minor differences. Yeah, I, I think for the most part, just off memory, these feel pretty much the same. I think that one might be the only thing that feels different. All right, let's see. We start out with the history. I write it. Pretty simple army. 7 units. Go on bother someone else. Babylos, Sidon. This is where we have both of our Order. outposts, hey, the shrine as well soup. as the fort with one units in there. We're at war with stone settlement here but we're not at war with the main capital so it looks like we'll eventually be dragged into a war with them just so that we can complete our province take a look at some of the buildings we have port storyteller circle wine hall happiness boost Definitely have more powerful smuggler buildings that gives additional wood as well and slightly more food. Everything else look quite similar. Yeah, the builds for both of these ports gonna be pretty straightforward. We'll keep the recruitment building early, but it's probably just both of these buildings. All right, the early game expansion looks pretty clear. General has not moved construction, construction. I think we'll take a look at diplomacy. That's one aspect that I sort of I ignored and was something that destroyed us in the previous run. We want to have a decent relationship with our neighbors. We have to learn our Son neighbors, though. Um, let's come out here and kind of pick how we want Civilized to expand. Food and gold. Feels like this is an easy hit early. Mass kiss. Feels like a cultural capital, of course. Definitely a much stronger faction. We want to hit them afterwards. So this is our early game target right here and right here. We'll have three food plus one stone. Three food plus one gold. Not a huge variety here. Bronze. That's what we need for more armies. So I feel like this is the expansion pack we should take. And that means if we can become friends. I fight. Our tribes have the same needs, brother. We are going to pay to get into these deals. We have 5,000 food. We're definitely much lower resource than, say, Ramsey's start. But since we do have a lot of food, perhaps we can offer sort of a per turn setup where it can be agreeable. This is probably worth just about, if you think about it, maybe just two units worth of upkeep. Or one and a half unit for the most part. Yeah, this is good. Lock in this deal. 
So they won't attack us. To I would our south. My They're kind of far. Never back down. One county. They're we right next to no us. More. They have two counties. Let us eat. You have not tested goat as good as ours. I hope they ask for less. A fine bargain. Then we have this faction Son here. Also pretty sizable. 2.5. A little bit expensive. I feel like that might be where we end things. One county I don't really care about. If we have to go to war with them, this cluster here might not be too bad. Right, we have a wood, bronze, stone. Definitely a good collection of things we need. So we can definitely consider coming down here. I see everything. Uh, what bonus do we get here? We can exchange units, reinforce siege, interacting. Ah, so we don't really need to interact with that. Subtlety is we can king. pull the garrison out to fight for us. Prove yourselves. Yeah, we'll just jump into this battle right away. They don't have any range. Mm. Okay. The Canaanite landscapes are going to be heavily forested. Canaanites will never surrender. Oh, never mind. They have two slingers. As do we. Mm, they're way high on this hill. Okay, it looks like we can pull them down, which is great. Show strength, brothers. Do they have any sort of sneaking mechanic? Yes, unspottable in grass. We don't have any fire arrows to light up any of this grass, unfortunately, or else we could target ground. Oh, we see them. I am violent. I don't think we can force them down. Either we have to charge directly into a pelt of rocks, or we can try to sneak through the forest, maybe. Right. We'll go a little faster. Because most likely we're going to have to get through the forest. How good is our shield? 45%. I have been waiting for this. Move, warriors. Ready to throw. Get marching. March. With me. Can hit us. 
Okay, it looks like we can pretty much stay hidden here and get up there. Don't eat that. Malak, thank you. Born to do battle. Use those slings. With me. All right, at least we can get a flank here. Let them stay there. See if he can sneak around. I'm gonna try to javelin behind this guy. Should be the quickest way to get him killed. Okay. All right, we snuck behind. We chased one. Killed their leader. Kill him. To kill him quicker. Send them spears. Strike now. Are they melee throwing? They're throwing them away in melee. I will not die here. Destroy them for Canaan. Warriors of Canaan. Slingers now. Our poor cell swords. Okay, looks like we got the win. We need to find a strong defensive unit to pin down enemy generals and then just javelin them to death. An excellent showing, my friends. Mm, I'll take this. They would be no use dead. Rulers make history. I write it. Time to march. I shall hand pick yeah, the worthiest. The upkeep is definitely on the expensive side. Strong against chariots, good defense. Sail sword, they're the same price. Slinger has good range. Show Let's yourself, get a mix. my warriors. Plus five happiness from the shrine. That is actually a huge boost. Minus 20% construction. That's also very nice. We could boost influence. It's 100%, never mind, it's 100% right now. So we're fine, we're in local region. Reduction plus 10%. Could do double shrine. I'm guessing this will stack. Oh, but this is this region, right? So only for these counties. Which makes sense. This still has a lot of things to be built. Where do we want the shrine though? We we're not tacking down here. This region as well. That's our immunity, not really needed. Influence, not really needed. We'll build this. I speak, others listen. All right, let's see. Ambush for himself would become unspottable and gain stock 
for 60 seconds. Mm, not super high on that one. Let's see what we get over here. Reduce movement for enemy armies, plus 10 influence where we stand. Enemy cannot retreat if attacked. Ah, good for chasing down armies, I guess. Ambush chance. Increase ammo. Diplomatic, but lowers influence. Upkeep lowers influence. Not key on that. Spire. Anything we want early is a lot of auxiliary chance increases built in. We get snipe for slingers. That can be quite good against AI. Basically put them in stock and then just snipe with them. Alright, we're gonna work on that then. Charge bonus also could be decent with sneaking, so movement first, basically. Alright, we'll activate that since we have no other titles. That should do it. Victory objectives given to us. It's very similar. Conquest. We haven't unlocked any of these yet. Let's see, can we My time hit that? Will come. They are a one county faction, right? Yes, they are. So. All are merely puppets. They do have an army. Which could make this difficult. Prove yourselves. Nine units running up against ten. Two bodyguards as well. We have three slingers. Those we can chase down with just these guys. Play two units to chase those down. Then we have three front line versus like four. It's actually quite difficult to win this. We can try to sneak a capture victory. Or maybe choke point this really, really well using their streets. Don't love the weather, but they do have a lot of slingers, so it's fine. We have two Vanguard deployables. That's the entrance, I think. That's entrance two, so we could technically access both of those pretty quickly. We can stay hidden here. And then we will just buy time elsewhere. I want to stuff them at an entrance, if possible. Oh, the AI definitely cheated. Look at these defensive units around the gates where we kept our sneaking units. They're guarding every entrance. Interesting. It's okay, we can just hold those two units there. He's still committed two units. They'll eventually pull those once we commit forces here. Of 
Get marching! You will suffer! Use those slings! Ever ready! Pile up the corpses! I'm gonna commit everyone what just the so their range can't hit us that efficiently. Slingers now! Bay! Ready to throw! All right, they're starting to leave. Fear nothing. Slingers fire. Rocks the way. Always watching. Watch. Easy. Axe warriors. I know he hasn't gone far, but are they, are they just switching gates? They just swap gates, so that wasn't really opening. Always strong. Warriors of Canaan. It's a slow beat down here. Bury them in stone. Alert to opportunity. I wonder if I can force a unit through. Warriors! No, not really working out. We are unstoppable. Swords! They will bleed! Moloch, take you! Javelins! I mean, at least these two units are kind of wasting their time, too. Once we break through here, it's getting a lot easier over there. Moloch, take you! Armor's already been worn off. As long as they don't move, I guess. Fight for your brothers! Use those slings! Bile is toying with us! Any chance we can push through? Hug them down! Maybe. This way, brothers! Looks like a few of them with are me. getting a push. Yep. A few of them squeeze through. Smash their heads! Maybe we just get a flank here and just Me clean this out death. from behind. You can see a couple units getting back over. To slaughter! You will all die here! I'll make it so. Come on, die. Serving the battlefield. All right, I'm gonna go in, Make clean this up. Pay. Everyone's super fatigued. Strike now! All right, nice. Swords. Go. We will do it. Go. Want to do battle? Make them pay. On I go. There is no. Try to splash some damage there. Gaining strongest. Move, warrior. Gaining ground. Ball to do battle. Right then. Play the track. All right, sneak in. Take them down. We will not falter. Swords! Fight for right, your they, they ran away, it's fine. With me! Get bashing! Yeah. I can smell their fear already! It's 
still no one moving away from the gates. Release javelins! Fight cleverly! This thing is getting hit up! I'll always be a step ahead! Should be able to peel one away. Javelins of Canaan! Huh? That's this not way, what we brothers. want these guys to do. Slingers, fire! Plans to action! Hunt them down! Always strong! March! Javelins ready! Get marching! This way, brothers! Outsmarting the enemy! Now. We are unstoppable! Darwin you will our enemy! Hang the strongest! He's not really engaging that hard. Ready for anything! Onwards! Fight for your brothers! Alright, he's gonna route away. On the move! Stop them! We stand strong! All right, we'll come dab these guys up. Get marching! Sword. Still not giving up the gates, huh? Patience is key. Too much storm rushing about. We will not fall. Okay, us. engage them here. Javelins. And then we should have a Javelins pretty throw. easy flank shot on these guys. Getting bay out here. Stay, stay, stay. Never back down. Javelins, ready. Move, warriors. Never back down. With me. I'll always be a step ahead. Move, warriors. I think we got this. Throw spears! With all your strength! Warriors hmm. of Canaan! Why are they in melee? Me. Others will protect us from this storm! Fear nothing! Strong spirit! Release javelins! Warriors of Canaan! Strength through cunning! You're still not reacting, huh? Fear nothing. Okay, they just keep wanting to go into melee and peel them off. Warriors of Canaan, throw! This way, brothers! We shoot them. Swords! Send them to march! Royal liaison. Or at least we're chasing them around. This way, brothers. Get out of there. With all your might. Oh, he routed I them. I can hardly breathe. Pressing on. Ashi, we can stay out of this. Repositioning. Throw spears. Sword. All right, we got some movement. Going back to defend the points, though. Alright, that unit's wipe, save some ammo. Strong spirit! This way, brothers! When will this storm end? Move, warriors! Are they swapping again? Swords! 
Make them pay! On I go! Alright, so he's routing. I think we have a path. We are predators. Run. We will not falter. Destroy them. Move, warriors. March. March. Get marching. Yeah, we're still invisible. I don't know why he turned around. He shouldn't have. But you know, AI the all knowing. With me! Move warriors! I wanna give them a different angle here on the fight. Ooh, they threw some javelins at us. Alright, I wanna give them this angle so that they can shoot at a good chunk over here. Maybe go forward a little bit so we can Oh, shoot them together. Technically, he's still... Okay, he sees us now. Oh, we're gonna outrun him, hopefully. And just to give him some pressure, we're gonna add another unit in here. And this should be a good angle to shoot them at. Oh, can't cross over there. It's a sword unit there. Hoping this group wins. It's gonna be close. It will be ours. This would be a free take for us. Maybe that you know come challenge, but we should be able to fight that off. Alright, they peeled. We go back. You attack from here. We try to run fast. On the move! About to get flanked. It's gonna be ugly here. Ooh. Terrible. These two units are dead. Can we do some damage before they, they fall? Let's get out of here! We will not falter! This way, brothers! We are unstoppable! We'll try to flank that. Warriors of Canaan! Release javelins! So much rain! Javelins ready to slaughter. Axe warriors. This way, brothers. If he's gonna go back, Malak, thank you. He just can't make up his mind. Born to do battle. Not sure who wins that. I need to rest. No challenge. Observing the battlefield. This way, brothers. Hold. Came in strongest. Wipe them out. True slaughter. Overwhelm them. Strong spirit. They could send us rocks. I mean, judging by this symbol, we should be able to beat them. But I'm not sure with the stat bonus. Oh, they came back. We could use them. Hurry, we need a capture. Get over here. Alright, we got the flank. This unit might route. That would be great. We stand strong. Time for action. When All right. this rain stop? He's peeled back over here again. Looks like we're ahead. Just looking at the health. He also bounced back. Get over here. Oh, we cracked one. Okay, we let him. We let him go wherever he wants. We try to route the other one real quick. We can always pick him up here. 
Right, we, we only have infantry. Stay here. They, they're no good in fighting here. Never we need to route this guy quick. Alright, good. Turn him around to fight him. I'm going to stay on top of this guy. I need them to go javelin this guy up. We have more unit weight on that. Looks like they're going to win pretty handily here. Army loss? That's the prayer. Fight for your brothers. With me. Yeah, chase them both. Make sure they don't bounce back. This will just hold. We'll try to look for a flank. Alright, they won. Stay on the point, Get capture it. Marching. Fear nothing. With me. Royal liaison. Dive into that. You have Fly no orders. idea what's coming. Recover. The ones with the spears are the enemy general. Alright, they both won here. Alright, got the army loss. Tough fight, but uh, given that we didn't spend extra time to recruit more men, this ended pretty nicely. And we're only starting out at war with this one faction with one county. So this takes care of our early game. And we can build up now. All according to plan. Yeah, we'll keep the land. So begins our occupation. This is a stone one county. Definitely very important. 175, 235. Get this going, get the food going so we can get more units. We can build this. You must upgrade to tier three. Okay. Obelisk. It's only available here. Guess it has to do with stone, just like how this is a stone carving district. Construction time minus one plus 10% stone. Construction costs. This is a great building. We need extra workforce to get that upgraded. Maybe we can wait on the food and get the tier two going first. Because I want this build, everything will be cheaper afterwards. We want to secure stone first. Alright. Everything else looks pretty good. Um, make history. I write it. We probably just want fresh recruits at this point. Five turn replenishments, a little bit too long. I don't even want to combine these two. I speak. Others listen. Four turns. I don't want to make our armies too weak. I shall hand pick the worthiest. We must convince yet more men to spill blood. We'll do a combination there. Ranked up again. Yeah, we're trying to unlock this one to give our slinger snipe. Could be a weather condition thing, but they were not doing too much in the previous fight either. That's not super useful. Rather get the snipe. Wait, so I got enough points. There we go. It will take one turn to activate. Uh, we will have a few a turns of cheap advisor. recruitment due to the growth season. So maybe for this season, 
We cancel the more expensive guy I am peaceful, and just double down slingers. Need not be. A little bit more min-max with the efficiency there. We got a mount as well. Become a chariot unit. Words are my weapons. Uh, not used to the right click change. So are we still sword and shield bodyguard with the mount? But why isn't it not letting me take it? Uh, we can't have this combat. We can't have a shield, I guess. Restrict equipment in the mount. So we got to get rid of the shield. Does our sword also restrict? It's a good sword. Charge defense against large. Alright, I guess in this regard we don't take the chariot. I think we're good at this point. Diplomatically... We'll attack them next. That's our obvious target. No one then bay. Four points. I know. He has one county. It's really tempting to go after him. Who's the other faction here? I will, I will listen. They don't want to go to war with them. Yeah, I, ideally we want to get our first full province before we do anything else. Yeah. My time will come. Let's get to Shemsu Hor first. Unlock some mechanics. I live to serve. We'll, we'll get a huge walk. chunk of movement back. Not getting the units, but you can see. Well, not, oh, Advisor actually, does kings. it not? 50% of the movement. Let's play uh, politics. That did not happen. That's the place. Huh. Weird. Armies are alas a necessity. I like the fact uh, two javelins play enough. We just need a thick front line now. Cunning cutthroats. They to work me. really well. Ambushers, 41 speed, 34 speed, 37. So they're the faster ones. These two are medium class, this one's light. We'll create this later. This is slightly cheaper in this season. Oh, uh, only, yeah, these are native units. They're not cheaper. Hmm, feel light to here. Might not be active yet due to Development in progress? That's what we're going to attribute that to? Or is just display not being... How much money are we actually dropping here? I value cunning over Eight. bluster. Show yourselves, my warriors. Uh, it's Prince, 320. I need you. We're not getting the effect. Unless it was more expensive earlier than it did. I think it was 320 though. Yeah, I know I want that. Need the food. It's like one extra unit. I'm gonna wait for this next turn. Yeah, we'll have two growth. It'll be perfect. Uh, are we getting raided? Trespassing. You're raiding us. Never back down. All right, we can pick something that takes a long time, and then once we get our command, we can instantly activate it. Definitely could benefit us. Or we do another three turn. And that will take us to 
Jimsu Hor, and then we do a six turn, and then we get that instantly. I stand strong. Oh, they are annoying. Every friend is like family. Too. Five point four point six. What do they want? They would give us. Oh, they want land. That's no good. We make a decent chunk of stone. Actually, we don't need the bronze that we're making right now. And we increase the turn, 10 turns. I guess we dip some stone as well. Just trying to buy some time. 92. We'll still be net positive on both for the next 10 turns, just very small. First victory. We're hoping they, they respect that even though they're unreliable. I mean, they'll tear up the per turn deal as well, so we technically don't lose much there. Servant of Diplomacy. We're not going to be able to hit them right here with the army of our size. We need more men. Yeah, upkeep's going to take us negative. That's fine. Cunning cutthroats to me. Should be fine. Yeah, he's building up his force as well. We got our first ambition. Conquer a region focused on wood. Uh, none of these are really relevant to what we're currently doing. This is when I would really like to go out to the map to take a look at exactly where we are, but I don't think we can. Yeah, I can't exit out of this either. I'm pretty sure the capital is a food producing one. Bronze. Okay. I mean, there's, there's no gold up there. There's a gold here. Ah, good. Good. We gotta turn around here within 10 turn and take Sokka. Power and patience. He's continuing to build up the force I as well. For my brothers. Makes me feel like we can't take this plus the garrison, which has 12 members in as well. We definitely need these four army. We probably need that army to kind of get out of the way. So we'll be burning through some food. Still cost 320 after the increase. It's not being applied. Order. These are native units. Tastes better even than my soup. Yeah, so, so nothing going on there. Or something wrong going on there. Get a couple of these cheap Show ones. Yourself, my warriors. Workforce equal one. We need two to build this, and we don't have enough wood either. It'll build up three. Probably build this once we get to three. Ah, that army, even though they promised to peace out, they're still raiding us. Born and taking our growth away. I see everything. Oh well. How are they in 19 units already? Our five turn deal is done, but we still have Maybe the non-aggression pack. They're still raiding us. All are merely puppets. Uh, we're not going to outgrow that. Uh, 
we're gonna wait to speed up a uh, road decree next turn. I'm simply observing. Let's uh, at 15. Local deity is unlocked. If we get to tier two, what do we get? More happiness, cheaper construction for the shrines, the prayers, labor costs of faster siege, engine buildup, armor. Yeah, without additional growth, this is going to be painful. I speak, others listen. Wonder if I should shift some units into the fort as we are building up the army. We can reduce the upkeep basically. Society is on the rise. My time will come. That's a plan actually. I know the way. We should shift everyone, to be honest. Oh, can't fit that many. Let's keep the cheap ones, which are the slingers. And these. Yeah, that's a good way to recruit. Subtlety We're missing five key. units. I shall hand pick the so we'll get those units and then add them in afterwards. Uh, we are not doing any deals with you. Their army's left. We need them to leave farther away. Nine turns for food. Uh, this is acceptable. We have plenty of stone, but we're actually short on food. All right, let's see how this works. So let's say we want more food. Six turns. Go over here. And we got it. Instant completion. Saved ourselves six turns. Excellent. It's quite strong in that regard. We can do all the slow ones and unlock one, the quick ones, and then boom, it's done. So we need a three and probably a three. Nothing really useful. Yeah, we can get this first. Unlocks the rest of the tree area for us. He needs to stop raiding us. All right, we're gonna let him move farther up one more turn. I need you. I can't build anything. We have no growth. Well, yeah, we are going to build this here, so that's fine, I guess. We have enough wood, we'll spend it. Do we need this? The adjacent province happiness is probably the best part for that. I live to serve. All right, so that army probably left far enough, at least two turns. Uh, I hate that raiding army, but what can we do? Wait, I'm not clicking on the army. Let's play politics. We're going for it. Royal liaison. Gotta be quick. The army is probably two turns away. We can only build nine labor force per turn. Things are cheaper. We can do a combination here. They can't hold forever. And we'll use that as our save point. We'll come back, fight this siege. We've been pretty efficient with our food situation, so we got this army without losing too much food. And once we control this, I don't think their army has expanded out. They'll probably come back and fight us, and we just have to defend here. We might want to sign a deal with them because our next attention is going to be at Saka. 
We want to finish our ambition. Seven turns. There's enough time. We can get there. This guy is annoying. Never we have a deal down. with him, but he's still raiding us. Can I ask him to stop What's raiding us? Saw? Is there a diplomatic warning for that? Do we not have a non-aggression pact with them? Oh, they're not this faction. Where are they from? I don't see the emblem. Okay, so this is not the faction we signed a deal with. That makes more sense. But at least they're not attacking us. Alright, we... Might just chase them off then. But anyhow, good start. Hopefully that army is two turns away and we can get this done really quickly. And then we probably have to spend one turn just to defend, merge a unit, recruit Prove two more. Yourselves. And the food from that capital should be enough to tide us over. And then we're going to turn our attention south, get our wood uh, county, as well as the ambition complete, and see when these unlock for us, maybe the second Shimsu Hor. So until then, bye!